when you get a phone call and you're asked to um, deliver a charge, I went and I looked up the word charge and um, it said to impose a duty, responsibility, or obligation. And then I, I, I looked in, I looked out for synonyms, and it said allegation, beef, complaint, gripe. <laughs> and none of these were quite doing what I thought was intended for tonight. So the preferred definition I found is, and there's a reason for it, assault, blitz, command, but mostly pleading. Pleading to each one of you. Something that uh, Gary and I learned very early on, somebody told it to us, um, and this has become our ministry verse together, is 1 Thessalonians 2.8. And it says, because we loved you so much, we were delighted to share not only the gospel of God, but our lives as well. Never forget that with your people. You have to be transparent and you have to pour into them if they're ever, ever going to listen to you. The other one, and it's very, very familiar around the ARC, is 2 Thessalonians 3.13. And so for you, dear brothers and sisters, never tire of doing what is right. There are going to be days in your cadetship and certainly in your officership when you are going to be worn out. And you must never, ever tire of doing what is right. And last was one that I have, I have had typed. It has been my screensaver. Um, I'm coming more and more to enjoy William Booth quotes. And this is one I had not seen around a lot, and I ran across it, and it just really impacted me. And it said, the greatness of a man's power is in the measure of his surrender. And we have to every day take up our cross and follow him. We love you all and we wish nothing but God's best for you. Most of you that know me, have known me for any period of time, uh, know that once upon a time I was blessed to graduate from that beautiful little academy up in New York called West Point. And, uh, I remember when I left there, I thought I was pretty well prepared, but the Army in this wisdom sent me out for 90 days to my unit before I got to go to my officer basic course to learn how to be a real infantryman and actually refine the skills. And I thought about you as I thought back, because that 90 days prepared me to understand what it was I needed to learn while I was in school. The first four years, I was a college kid trying to survive and, and do all the things that West Point made me do. And they had plenty for me to do, and they kept me really busy. But for that next three months, I was out with the soldiers, and I was out on the ground learning. And so then when I went back to my basic officer course, all of a sudden, it was extremely important to me. It was very real to me. Uh, I think the charge I want to make sure I give you tonight is uh, get every measure you can get out of SFOT. You're going to a wonderful place. It's going to be an awesome two years. Uh, there's going to be temptation to play and have fun. You're going to do all those things. But whatever you do, even in the playing, get the most you can possibly get out of it. I, I wrote thoughts like nobody is better prepared than you are. I, I've never met such a bunch of young folks as you that are ready to go. So you've already had your West Points. You've already had your time with the units prepared. So now you're ready. Nobody should come out of there any more prepared than you are to hit the field if you apply yourselves. So my charge to you is go be the best that God's going to make you, each one of you individually and his teams. God bless you.